wreck this car. No, you you're not. not. I have finally caved in. It has been years of Avery, my little sister, asking to teach her how to drive stick shift. And finally, I feel like the day has come where she's responsible enough to get behind the wheel of a supercharged stick shift, six speed Mustang. So I'm thinking for our first excursion, we could just come out to this place. This is a big old parking lot. This is like actually perfect. Okay, so you know how to operate a normal motor vehicle. Like, you can steer it. You're not going to hit anything in the parking lot. So-so. So-so. Yeah, so. Now you come and sit in here first, and I'm going to show you around this rig, show you how it works, how it operates. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so, it's really actually easy. So shake it left and right. That's how you know whenever it's neutral. You see this pattern at the top? Yeah. That's first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and then all the way over and back is reverse. But okay. in the center right here is neutral. Okay. So now push that clutch all the way down and just yeah. get used to the feeling of the, your foot going okay. up and down. Try and do it slow. Whenever you slip the clutch out, you want to be like really, really gentle on the outward. You can push it you in fast. You can't just let it pop out. Okay. Yeah. Because whenever you let it pop out, that's how you stall. So now push the clutch all the way in and now hold it in because whenever you put it in the gear, as soon as you let it back out, it's going to want to go all the way over to the left. Yep. And then up. There you go. And then let and then off just this. Slip it halfway and then hold it halfway. You hold it right there. There you go. Yeah. Like, okay, wow, you didn't even stall. <laughs> so now go up here and whenever we take a left, push the clutch in and put it back into neutral. So it's in first gear right now. So you'll have to okay. pull it back into the center. Put it in the middle. Okay, so push the clutch in. Okay, now brake. And I'll keep the clutch pushed in. Yep. And now I'll just put it in the center and then shake it side to side so you know. And now you can sit still and whatever. And see how if you let your foot off the brake, how we're rolling a little bit? Well, that's why in a manual car, typically you would have to like set the e-brake for it to stop. See, I always wondered what emergency mm -hmm. brakes were for, because I don't even think I have one in my car. Yeah, you probably do, but it's probably just not necessary because yours is auto. So now clutch in all the way to the floor, and now just push it over into first, and then just slowly set it halfway and just hold it right there and give it a little bit of gas while you hold it. Yep, and then you can slip it all the way. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't driven a manual I'm positive. before? Well, I'm really? gonna say that, then I'm gonna mess up. No, I'm actually genuinely up. impressed. And I'll give it a little bit of gas right here. And I'll shift a second. So let off the gas, push the clutch in, pull it down a second, and now let the clutch back out slowly while you give it gas. You see how you let it out a little faster, yeah. it just jerked? But if you let it out and slip it slow, then it'll gradually it'll apply the clutch. Yep. Tell me what all the gears do. What it's you, just there's so many. So each gear is a higher mile an hour. So first gear will only take you up to like, let's say 15 miles an hour. Okay. And then you would need to shift because your RPMs over here get so yeah. high that you would want to shift and then put it into the higher gear to start climbing more miles an hour. You're actually really getting the hang of it very fast. I'm really <laughs> impressed. Yay. So try clutch in again, and then you can put it back into first and pretend like we're leaving a stop sign or something, or the light just turned green. And you just put it over and yep. Just slow it halfway, give it a little bit of gas. And, you know, as long as you hold it halfway and give it a little bit of gas right there, it'll just you'll get to where you can get it very smooth. Okay, it's a little bit jerky at first. Yeah, it's just because you're learning, but I, most people can't even get the car to move. That's I was one of those people. I think it's just because right now I'm calm. I think if I ever got on a road and tried to drive, oh, I was about to say that we should. I mean, yeah, we can. Okay, so if you're clear both ways, you can slip it out and give it a little bit of gas again and just take off to the right. Yeah. Okay, now stay in the same gear, but go slow. Now watch the RPM, you see up here? See how it keeps climbing? Yeah. You hear how it's getting louder and louder as you keep climbing? So basically it's revving the engine higher. So now you would shift up to a higher gear to go a higher speed. Pull it down far. Yep, there you go. Now you're in second. There you go. And now clutch in. And now brake. And then put it in neutral. You're getting it. That was so scary. Nah, you're killing it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. There you go. Perfect. Like, actually perfect. Very nice. Now clutch in and put it in second. Now pull it down hard. Don't give it gas. Let off the gas. Now pull it down hard. Now sl slowly give it a little bit of gas while you let the clutch off. Perfect. Nailed it. Like, actually second nailed gear. It. Yeah, you're in second gear. Now if you want to try it again, you can go to third. So you go up to the middle and straight up. So okay. clutch in, let off the gas, and now push it straight up to the middle. Yep, straight up. And there you go. Now let the clutch out and give it a little bit of gas. Now we're moving. So you'll get to 
where you speed that process up. Okay. But that's, you're getting the basics down. So now you see how it's lower RPM, it's quiet, we're just cruising, but we're at a much higher speed. Yeah. It's because you're in a higher gear now. Thank God for automatics. Oh, no, you're going to end up this loving is, it. This is, I mean, this is fun, but I feel like at first, every time I drove by myself, I'd be so scared. Yeah. That's why you drive with somebody until you get used to it. Did you drive with somebody until you got used to it? No. no. Yeah. That's you. Right. yeah. You don't have to do nothing crazy, but give it a little bit of gas. And then whenever you get done, just put it, you can put it in neutral or just let off the gas. Give it some gas so you can fill. Nice job, nice job. You actually did way better than I expected. Yeah, you do it much smoother. This car has aftermarket, it's a Celine, so it's like a, it's a custom rare package, I guess, of Mustang. And this one comes with the supercharger, the wider wheels, and like the suspension and all that, so that's why I feel so planted like that. I'm gonna get me one of these. So what do you do when you do stall? Like how do you get out of a stall? You just uh, put it back in neutral, and then push the clutch down and start the car again. You have to start the car again? Yeah. You know one time, I was at, you know who Cletus McFarlane is? That big YouTuber? Yeah. That's, okay. I was at his event in my black car, and it was a manual. I stalled in front of like three to four thousand people holding their cameras filming me on the line getting ready to leave to race. I think I remember that. That shit you were like was inconsolable so after. embarrassing. You were like, don't even talk to me. You want to try again? Are you done? I can try again. Yeah. I love that you're the one that actually wants to come back and drive more. That's so cool. <laughs> I can't even lie. She is doing so amazing for our first time ever being in a freaking six shift. I don't understand it. You're better than I was at your age. It's aggravating. Okay. So, put on the brake started. and then on pull the e-brake e -brake down. Oh, press the brake in? Yeah. And yeah. the clutch? No, nah, you don't have to yet, but just pull the e-brake down. So, pull it up towards you. Pull <laughs> you it gotta, up towards you me? You gotta buff them arms a little bit. You said bit. pull it up towards yeah, me? Yeah, and press the button. No, right, let me see. No. -uh. Put it in first gear? Yep, put it in first gear. And then as soon as you start slipping the clutch, it's gonna start moving. So just give it a little bit of gas. Yeah. And we're moving. Yeah, that was good. That was really, really good. I don't wanna get cocky though, because I'm for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I don't understand how people can't do this. Nah. I'm gonna you stall. Definitely you definitely got it. If you can do it that many times already back to back, then you'll You'll get it. You'll catch the rest so easy. I wonder if to other people it's obvious that I'm learning to drive a manual, just going in circles yeah, in probably. a parking lot. They probably know what's going on. We're not moving. Uh oh. There you go. Turns okay. out I wasn't moving my clutch foot. <laughs> <laughs> is every car different or are they all like Yep, every car is very different. That's what I was about to say. You can get in one car and think you know how to drive perfectly and then go get in another car and it's just like, oh my God, I, I don't even think I know how to drive a manual. What's a hard car to drive manual? My GT350. What makes it harder? The different clutches. So the clutch pedal is adjusting a clutch inside of the transmission that basically grabs onto the flywheel, which is hooked up to the engine essentially, and it's rotating. And so whenever you slip your foot out, that rotating mass is grabbing on as you slip it out. Whenever you push it in, it takes it. I like how you're not even practicing the fundamentals. You're just... <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to be telling me. Oh, I, I didn't know I had to like drill instruct you. I was just letting, yeah. you, I was letting <laughs> you learn. I'll do this all night. Now we'll do some more faster circles. Oh my god. And now I'm gonna learn how to um, drift. drift. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was her first thing whenever she came here. She said, while I'm here, I think that's the funniest part. <laughs> while I'm here, can you teach me how to drift? And I'm like, you don't know how to drive a manual car, but you want to drift first. So now exactly. she just wants to escalate from, oh, we're doing circles in the parking lot. Let's just make it faster circles and drift. Dolly people. <laughs> Shift a second. Watch the car. All right, I'll let it out. I'll give it gas. There you go. See, you're getting it. Yeah. Okay, go to the left. Into the driveway. I'm 
scared. Do you want to do it? Yeah, I'm so I will. Scared. It's okay. I definitely will. You know, I gotta say, you did pretty good. You, I would for give a it an A plus for sure. If A plus plus was a thing, I would give it an A plus plus. You know what? Give it to me anyways. Oh, A plus plus anyways. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, we'll see you next time.